On Halloween night, 1977, America gathered around for a live TV event that shocked the nation. What happened was real. What you are about to see is the recently discovered master tape of what went to air that night. Hi and welcome back to Real Reviews where today I'm diving into the indie horror cult classic in the making. Late night with the devil. Now this is starring David Dashmolchian. Now people might not know the name straight off the bat, but he has been in Dark Knight. He was in Oppenheimer. He was in uh, Dune Part 1. And he was also in The Suicide Squad. No, the other one with James Gunn. And this is uh, the acting role, not of a lifetime, but it may well launch his career to the next level. He plays Jack Delroy. He's a late night chat show host on 70s American TV and he has a Halloween night set to remember. This is directed by Cameron and Colin Cairns and let's just dive into exactly what it is about this latest release from IFC Films that is going to make people hide a little bit behind the sofa. Let's do that. Well Night Owls we've got a heck of a show in store for you tonight and I'm very excited for you to see it all unfold before your very eyes. I really hope you love it. Gosh I hope you love it. trying to host a national syndicated talk show. And I'm trying to help you keep it on the air. We all know how important it is to keep our sponsors and affiliates happy, but in my humble opinion, there is only one person who really matters in this whole darn crazy business. So one of the great things about Late Night with the Devil straight off the bat is the fact that this really does feel like a 70s television show. Um, it is, uh, people have compared it to Ghost Watch, other people have compared it to Network. There's a little bit of Rosemary's Baby in there. There's a throwback to a line from The Exorcist. There's a lot going on. Um, it starts with a montage of political events and cultural sort of touchstones, whether it's the Vietnam War, uh, political protests, um, it's sort of the countercultural upheaval, and you've also got um, elements of disco in there. This really does um, set the scene, and the writer directors uh, Cameron and Colin Kearns have done an exceptional job in maintaining that. Um, the ghost watch element, or at least um, the the live television broadcast, is pulled off extremely well. Um, and, and you've got some great support on stage, on stage in front of the camera with uh, David Dashmolchian. Uh, you've got Ian Bliss uh, playing Carmichael Haig. Uh, he is a cynic um, and is there with a check for $500,000 for anyone who can disprove, anyone who can prove him wrong because he doesn't believe such things exist. Uh, you've also got... Um, uh, you've also got uh, a guest on the show uh, who has written a book um, about someone that she has rescued from uh, a satanic cult, uh, which I will go into a little bit deeper in the next segment. Um, and you've also got a number of other elements which just go into making this thing exceptional. So um, I'm going to jump into exactly what that is now Dr. Uh, with Ross Mitchell and Lily Young subject of the book, Conversations with the Devil. I really don't think it's a good idea, Jack. She's becoming more unpredictable. That's a good thing. That's why we still do what? TV. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned for a live television first as we attempt to commune with the devil. So as I said in the last segment, um, you've got uh, an actress called June Ross Mitchell. I couldn't remember her name. And she plays um, she plays a, a doctor, a psychologist, um, who is studying a uh, a young lady she's she's rescued called called Lily uh, who's played by Ingrid uh, Torelli. Uh, now, what this film then does is it starts to in, infuse um, a creeping dread within um, within the live broadcast. You, you get um, you get electrical surges. Uh, you'll get. Um, you get um, a psychic who comes on who may or may not have uh, absorbed um, a, a, a demonic force into into his body. Um, you then also, in between the live uh, transmission, you get uh, behind the scenes conversations which switch from colour to black and white to make the differentiation. Um, and, and, and that brings, again, an added sense of, of fly-on-the-wall documentary element into Late Night with the Devil, which really does... Um, 
it, the, it, it's a really tight running time as well. So you're looking at just over 90 minutes and a, a majority of that time is, is all build up. You, you've got probably 20 to 30 minutes uh, of, of build up and then things slowly start cranking up and it's incredibly clever in the way it's done. Um, uh, it, there will be, as I said, there will be people who, who make obvious comparisons with network, as I've said, um, because it, it, it is a ratings war. It is a ratings winner, and it's it's stated in the intro and in the montage at the beginning that Delroy is in some sort of like network war with Johnny Carson. Um, so so it adds a degree of validity to it. Um, but in terms of, of your, your tropes, which you would expect, um, within this, they are done very, very well. There are um, the, 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 the presence of, of, of the demonic spirit. You've got the innocence of the young girl slash victim. Um, and you have the, the debunker, the one who is constantly undermining all the things which are happening. And then basically the last 10 minutes of this film is an absolute free for all. It is, and I don't swear very often, a shitstorm of, of the last 10 minutes. Um, and it, it just leaves you incredibly uncomfortable comfortable. Yes, Mr. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Uh, I, I think I think um, um, I just ran out of time on the camera there. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I, I was talking about the, the the psychologist, and I think I was talking about the psychologist anyway. And uh, but she's uh, I, I, I named the character name instead of the actress. The actress is called uh, Laura Gordon. Um, anyway, with with this film, the rating is um, it, it's a four point five. Um, out of five. Um, the Late Night with the Devil really is an exceptionally good film. Um, uh, David uh, uh, Dushmotian uh, is extremely good and 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 it, it really does um, it, it really is quite is quite a scary film. So so what I would recommend is people track this down. Um, it, it is a Shudder um, release. It, it is uh, by IFC um, and, and it's it, it's really worth catching. So um, dive right in. I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna get on with the trailer because I'm not entirely sure what's going on. So okay. Lily, can you hear me? <laughs> Good to see you Thank again, Jack. Jack. Lily, return to me. This isn't about ratings anymore. No one's going anywhere. How could you let it happen, Jack? How could you let it happen? Please be warned, anyone with young children in the room. Go to Tomasa! Go to Tomasa! What you're about to see... You okay, Jack? ...is <laughs> profoundly disturbing and shocking. You get out there, Mr. Midnight. And you knock him dead. Hi, and so you've reached the end of the video review for Late Night with the Devil, which is an IFC release, and it is out on Shudder, and hopefully, not entirely sure, out on general release, and stars David Dashmalchian. So, this is the bit where I go, if you've liked the video, then give me a thumbs up. If you want to drop a comment in the comment box below, then feel free, because I will respond. And then finally, you can subscribe, so that every Tuesday and every Saturday, when I drop another one of these videos, you'll get a little notification, and then you can watch or listen to as much or as little as you like, and then go about your day. Until then, check out the rest of the channel, maybe pop over to the Patreon page. Take care now.